Now, evolutionary biology does not concern the ultimate origin of the universe. It only concerns creation when creation is construed as referring to divine agency in an already existing world, with God's intervening, so to speak, to produce new species. The error here is to think that there is an incompatibility between an evolutionary account of change based on causes in nature and God's creative action, that it must somehow be one or the other. But natural selection is not an alternative to divine agency. Chance mutations at the genetic level do not call into question God as creator. God causes things both to be the kinds of things which they are and to exercise the kind of causality which is properly their own. Even the reality of chance and contingency depends upon God as cause. God causes chance events to be chance events. But God transcends the created order in such a radical way that he is able to be active in the world without being a competing cause in the world. God does not cause things to be in the same way that causes in nature function. Causes in nature differ from one another. I am a cause different from the way in which a molecule is a cause. God differs differently. God is not just some other cause. He's not a superpower. One does not have to choose between evolutionary biology and creation to affirm one need not be a denial of the other, we can have both Darwin and God. The interconnected world of changing things, a kind of horizontal realm, ought not to be confused with the vertical dimension of creation, a vertical dimension upon which the horizontal continues to depend for its very existence. Order, design, chance, and contingency all concern the horizontal realm. The very reality of all things depends upon the vertical dimension. We ought not to think that to create in its primary sense means to produce order. To explain order and design in terms of processes within nature does not eliminate the need for a creator. A creator who is responsible for the existence of nature and everything in it. Creation is not primarily some distant event. Rather, it is the ongoing, complete causing of the existence of all that is. At this very moment, were God not causing all that is to exist, there would be nothing at all. <laughs>